Wild Apples is a biennial journal of nature, art, and inquiry, founded in 2008 by a group of fellow artists in Massachusetts. The journal was inspired by the writings of Henry David Thoreau. It's really when it was born, when, um, when I was reading that essay, Wild Apples, that was it just something about it. It was so appealing, and there it was. We're a very small organization. We're, we are a few volunteers, at least right now. And so it's very important that we connect ourselves with other larger institutions, and that helps us find a, a larger subscriber base. And so each of us is coming at it a little differently, and we can support each other and celebrate each other with our, with our sharing of um, the journal. Artists who work often independently, you know, along this sort of singular vein of their own curiosity, their own, you know, con what did Stanley Kunitz call that constellation of images that each artist has. They're there working alone. They have their constellation. And then you bring a couple of other artists in, but some of it is without them having met each other. And then something happens in that scene in between them. We're looking for a kind of energy, a kind of complementary energy or frisson on the page so that it doesn't actually totally dovetail, but there's a little difference, there's a little separation that makes people enjoy each more. And things happen for us as editors that are synergistic. We say, well, how about this with this? Or what would sort of best mirror Jane Hirschfield's poem, a thought? What's the painting for a thought? Tashlik, holding my breath, I cast the stone. Concentric ripples widen, fade, a minnow flashes and is gone. This rounded pebble is my own, look how finely it is made. Holding my breath, I cast the stone. Heavy in hand, smooth as bone, who could have said how much it weighed? A minnow flashes and is gone. I crouch, a burdened, graying crone, what if I had ever prayed? Holding my breath, I cast the stone. Silt engulfs the settling stone. I watch its pastel colors fade. A minnow flashes and is gone. I never heard the horn and tone. There are dues I never paid. Holding my breath, I cast the stone. A minnow flashes and is gone. We really draw our strength and our inspiration from the, the earth and from nature and the environment and these are the things that we want to convey and so what we're most interested in is, is finding other writers and, um, or, and artists, poets, people who are working in media that reflect that interest, show us different aspects of nature and the way we live and this is really a theme I think that runs really deeply through the journal. And we wanted to have a kind of intimacy, um, a quality where someone might stick it in their back pocket and go out into the woods and read it and certainly cherish it for many days, not have that throwaway quality and the shape being a little bit different and the handmade quality of it, which I think we're getting more and more into with the paper wrapping and maybe in future we'll have cloth wrappings. So there's definitely the sense of someone's hands have been involved in this journal. Artists are not like the ordered rows of trees in a civilized orchard. They have more in common with the wild apples growing on the border of woodlands. All too often, like those solitary gnarled trees, many artists' work is not seen, their poems are not heard, and there's little opportunity for collaboration. Hundreds of dark green, brown, and gold-painted tiles covered the floor, some with faces like worn icons. Water-filled buckets encircled the room. One by one, we stooped through a narrow passageway into the hut where a white enamel bucket shone. Dowling has um, that big community reach as an artist. So that's part of what drew me, that you know, in, with Wild Apples we were seeking to make a kind of community through artists that haven't met each other, and he's somebody who's physically bringing those artists into collaboration and, um, and the viewers and witnesses. Um, and as he says, that is the work.
you know, the witness is the work. In reply to Taoist master Tung Lin, how many peaks are you west of Tsuke? In your hut on a snowy night beside those tiger tracks? If I knew where you were in that distant blackness, I'd follow your evening bell all the way up the mountain. You can join the growing community of Wild Apple readers simply by visiting www.wildapples.org.